Hello everyone, I'm Martin Hurt from Tempo Trend Music here in Victoria, BC, and I'm going to show you the proper positioning of the accordion when it's on you for playing. The reason this is important is because many people have problems with their shoulders or their arms or positioning or neck or back, and a lot of it is due to the improper placing of the accordion on you. The accordion is a very intimate instrument. It's You're hugging and holding it. it you're, it's part of you when you're playing. So you need to have it in the right place so that you could take advantage of the amazing things you can do with it. And so let me get an accordion and I'll show you how you should be sitting and playing. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we put the accordion on, we want to see where it sits, where it naturally, where the where gravity uh, sets it, the center of gravity is. Well, right, right now, when I stand up or sit down and I look straight ahead, if I go like this, I'm looking at this. I'm looking, not looking at the keys. Then I kink my neck to look at the keys. So now you're playing like this for half an hour, an hour, kinking your neck, looking as you're learning. Not good for your neck. So what has to happen is, the keyboard needs to go this way. And when I go down like this with my chin straight ahead, my chin should be down the middle of the black keys. So you can see I'm this far out. Okay. So what I'm going to do, what you need to do is lengthen the right hand strap. Check your strap bracket to see which strap is supposed to go which way. It's usually at the right, at the angle it's supposed to be. Now this particular accordion, it is doesn't have a long enough strap for me. Oh, here we go. We got three adjusters. We got the top adjuster. We have the middle main adjuster and we have the bottom adjuster. So what we're going to do, we'll, we've got some extra room here. So let's open this up. And while you're doing this, you might want to check this part of the strap because many times it wears here and you could be standing up and playing or standing up to put it away or something and all of a sudden this breaks so be very cautious of that because that strap is holding your beautiful accordion and you don't want it falling down i've seen professionals on stage playing and the accordion falls off of them it's quite dramatic mm -hmm. and people think it's part of the show and clap but the person the accordion player is crying because he just wrecked his accordion so now i've lengthened that strap i put it on and so now when I put the accordion on, see what happens? Because this is longer, it's gone over there. And of course, normally if this has to be longer, this has to be shorter, okay? So now, when I go look straight at you, and look straight down, my chin is down the middle black keys. So now, my hand, instead of being over here playing, which is causing muscles that used in a way that's not normally used, is here, as if I was zipping up my jacket or putting buttons on. It's very natural to have your hands go down the middle of your torso. So that is there. You can look. You can look down. You can see what you're doing. You're not kinking your neck. Your hand is saying, oh, thank you. It was so hard playing over here. Now it's here. Also, the weight of the accordion should be on your left lap. And depending how, how you're sitting, the end of the accordion should be going against your thigh. If the accordion is up too high and it's sitting here like this, when you press and pull, pull and push, I mean, the accordion is moving around. But if it's down here and nudged up against here, when I push, it can't go anywhere. It's stuck, which is great. It keeps the accordion solid on you. The body should be on your left lap, leaving the bellows totally free. If it's here, the bellows are now stuck on your lap and it's impeding its movement it can't move very easily so if i have it here now it can move if it's here i can't move it i can use move the top a little bit but it's not going out where it should be so very important that the weight of the main accordion should be on your left lap bottom of keyboard against your thigh and you your chin looking straight down the middle of the black keys, just like that. And that brings another point up I should mention, is that some people are playing accordions where 
their torso from, from here to their lap is shorter. We're all special. We're all different. We all have different heights and different body legs, body parts, etc. So if you have an accordion that's too big, it'll look like this, right? And it's not very comfortable to play. If you have too small of an accordion and you are have a long body, then the whole accordion is hanging on your shoulders and neck and it's doing all the work instead of your lap, also not right, okay? Especially if you want to be sitting down playing. If you're standing up, it's different. It's always on your up, up on there. But too often I see smaller people with these big, huge accordions and it's, it's too cumbersome. So you got to get the right size. So when I, many of you have already dealt with me on accordions and thank you very much. Uh, I ask always, how tall are you? That gives me an idea of what length of keyboard you should have. And I also ask you about your width of your fingers so that we don't get you a key, accordion that's too skinny of a key or too wide of a key. Because if it's too skinny and you press, if you, if you have salami fingers, you press one key and you're pressing two down so that you don't want that. So again, in the thigh, on the weight on the left side, chin down the middle of the black keys. And the very last thing that's important is what you're sitting on, okay? Many people were taught when you're a kid, always sit the back of the chair straight up like this, play. But most chairs are not flat on the top. They're slightly angled back to give you a little bit more comfort uh, when you're sitting. But when you're sitting like that with your back, your, your torso and your, your back is, is bends and it's not good for your back. You start getting a sore back when you play for a long time. So try to sit at the very front of the chair. It makes your back do what it's supposed to do by keeping it nice and straight. And then you can practice for a lot longer. I was guilty of always sitting at the back. I had a problem with the sore back until one of our orchestra uh, leaders was saying, Martin, if you sit like that all the time, you're going to get a sore back. Well, I do have a sore back. Sit at the very front of the chair. Just sort of your bum cheeks are just hanging on. And just get comfortable with that. If you have a cushion or something, that's great. But this way, your back is nice and straight. So it allows you to play longer without your muscles saying, oh, that was hard. So that'll also help you with keeping your soreness of your back and let you play longer. Instead of just playing five minutes, oh, I'm sore. No. If you do everything right, you should be able to play for a long time and, and, have a, and make some beautiful music. Thank you.